Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and a little trick. If some of you, and because I'm reading a lot and I noticed that Rufus works on some machines for some reason, refuses to install 24H2 on others with no TPM, no the CPUs are not compatible and so on, errors. Uh, but there is one way to bypass and I tried it on a machine here that doesn't have the minimum requirements to see what it would tell me. And it actually went through. I tried Rufus and strangely on that machine, which maybe is seven years old-ish, it uh, gave me the uh, CPUs not compatible, no TPM 2.0 and so on. So if you are stuck with that, but still want 24H2 on an unsupported hardware, what you will do is simply go to uh, your command command line run as administrator and what you'll do is you'll find what drive it is on so when you go and put the USB thumb drive it gives you a drive letter and in this PC and mine was D so what you do is you simply move on to the drive letter that you need to go to. Now this one's not gonna work because D is not there, but it will show you D um, colon. And what you'll do there is simply type from there, setup.exe space forward slash product server not server it's server and press enter and this will start the setup process of the Windows 11 24H2 install um, it will tell you it's installing Windows Server but uh, there's no, it's, you know, it's fine just let it go through and it does not ask you for anything it works through and does not check for minimum requirements so I would guess that would be the uh, second way but this video um, I wanted to mention that um, several tests that have been done seem to show that um, we talked about it in a video. Um, 24H2 seems to give better performance to most PCs, um, but some of the tests that have been done seem to show that if you found 24H2, to, uh, Windows 11, sorry, un unsupported, a little sluggish, it seems that 22 for H2 will make it a little faster. So that performance boost that they gave uh, by tweaking Windows seems to work even on older machines. So this is very interesting. And um, actually I'm going through the paces of my 10 year old Toshiba, because it works. But my 10 year old Toshiba, it was a little sluggish. You know, it's, you, I, I can't complain because it actually is you know an old machine that technically is not even supposed to run this but um, I'm checking out a few things to see if I can like you know notice a performance boost on my old machine and uh, anyways tomorrow I'll be posting a video about it and tell you if I've had really that performance boost work so uh, yes it installs on unsupported hardware you might need to do that little uh, command line that I've shown you here or um, and and the other thing is well you might have a performance boost uh, and you guys that I have on the supported unsupported machines let me know we find that it's a little faster or not if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching